Governor Kemp says the city and counties can't take action that's less or more restrictive than state guidelines. We've reached out to a number of local leaders to try to get their view, their reaction to all of this. And joining us right now on the phone is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. Mayor Gertz, can you hear me? Hey, Jeff. Hey, Glad thanks. To be with you. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. So you've had about 30 minutes to digest what you have heard from the governor. What's your take? What's your view as it impacts your community? Uh, d digest is generous compared to the <laughs> brief moments I've had with this. Um, it, it's pretty clear that what a lot of health experts have been saying for weeks now, which is that we need very strong and easy availability of testing, and we also need contact tracing, is not here as part of this order. Um, really, it, it's like sending a football player out onto the football field and saying, eventually we're going to get you some pads and a helmet. Um, we don't have the safety activities in place for reopening right now. I always, like a, I always like a sports analogy, A with me and B coming out of Athens. So that one, that one certainly works for us today. <laughs> we appreciate it. Now, you were among the mayors that were initially urging the governor to issue statewide shelter in place. So how has that order affected what you've seen in athens Clark County so far? Well, e even prior to the governor's order, the populace here in Athens has been fantastic about taking care of each other and taking care of themselves and understanding that we've all got this collective responsibility. And that responsibility, of course, has to be joined by some clear guidance from government. And so we provided that clear guidance early on. That was later coupled with statewide guidance. But um, at least in my reading of the order right now, there's some lack of clarity. You know, there's the recognition that screening and evaluation of workers who exhibit signs of illness, such as a fever of under 100 degrees or over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, a cough or shortness of breath, should not be allowed in the workplace. But of course, it was just a few weeks ago that the governor noted that there was this game changing understanding that people who are asymptomatic could be spreaders of COVID-19. And so I'm wondering if suddenly we've moved from a game changing understanding to some amnesia. And, and, and I guess the follow-up question on, on the issue of amnesia that you're, that you're talking about is, with the restrictions being lessened, do you think that social distancing guidelines were, will hold up? Or do you think people will begin to ease back into their normal routines, which ultimately could be a disaster? Well, we're going to do everything here locally to ensure that social, guide, uh, social distancing continues. Um, the public has gotten accustomed to that, as challenging as it is. Um, but I hate the notion of mixed messages when public health experts are telling us different things than the concepts that underlie the governor's order here. Mayor Gertz, thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being with us on so short notice, and we will check in with you, I'm sure, in the days and weeks ahead. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. You bet. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks, so we are putting the questions to you. Do you agree with Governor Kemp's decision to ease restrictions? You can vote right now on the 11 Alive app, or you can do so at 11alive.com slash vote. You can also head over to the 11 Alive Facebook page to let us know what you think. We may share your reaction coming up.